go back to that viral post about fentanyl for just a minute uh, that's now been taken down. Tampa police say they haven't had any incidents like that locally. So that's the good news there, but Tampa Fire Rescue weighing in. They tell us they don't know of any local cases of transferring fentanyl via a shopping cart. Also that the premise of the warning is off. There should be more concern for the hypothetical situation or the hypothetical person with enough fentanyl on their hands to leave that on the cart. Yeah, Tampa Fire also saying the risk of overdose from touching a small amount of powdered fentanyl. That's extremely rare, extremely low chances of that.